Alright guys, welcome back. We are now on part 38 of Chrono Trigger, where we have just been sent back into the past after failing to defeat Magus and stopping him from summoning Lavos. So let's go ahead and get Isla. We are going to leave you here because we do not care. We get to follow Isla to the Dactyl Nest. Yeah, was hoping we could avoid a fight, but apparently not. Some of the enemies have relatively low health. Some enemies can be avoided, some can't. It all depends on... Like, for example, this cannot be avoided because of the stupid... The stupid schist. Clicking in the sky. Okay, so now we need to put Isla in the party, so let's take Robo along. But before we actually go and uh, fight the Tyrannos, we have a giant space termite to go and kill. Because I don't like the way that it's looking at us from the sky.
so back to the gate, which we all know is up here. It's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and equip. Oh, she had her silver stud. Yeah, actually everybody's in good equipment, so we'll just go ahead and save, and time to go and fight Lavos. Then the climax is, oh wait, it's already... Once again, we get to fight this stupid thing. Wow, that just like completely wrecked. Robo's health. Because the characters have changed, doesn't mean the strategy has. Break status. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that's right. Using obstacles but lowers its defense so that we can actually hurt the damn thing. Okay, I 
probably use a slightly stronger revive technique. so that when she wakes up, she can use Dino Tail for maximum damage. Once again, we see the center. Once again, output damage, keep everybody alive. That is the goal.
stabs him in air. So we don't do quite as much damage as Fog and Luka output the Fog player. But it should still offset and do a decent amount to Lavos. And of course once we get the core down to by itself, we can just have Robo start unloading on. Got a chance to restore its defense that time. Surprising. All right, so for Taking Isla out of the past and fighting Lavos, we get what is, hands down, my least favorite ending out of all of them.
Yes. For not defeating the Reptites in the past, they take over the world. It's a human! They apparently still do exist, just like how the Reptite was the racer in the uh, actual present. The main reason I don't like this ending is because there's only two Reptite sprites. There's the green Reptites and the purple Reptites, so... Uh, it's really hard to tell them apart, or you can't really tell them apart, and so the player character Reptites, in this case Chrono and Marl, are the purple Reptites, and then the NPC Reptites are the green ones, and it's just like... Eh, there's no telling them apart, so what's the point? There, there's the jerk who's responsible for it all. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, you take that the end and you like it. Alright guys, that was ending number... I don't care anymore. Uh, but it is the Reptile Age, so... Let's go ahead and advance the plot a little more before we actually uh, call it quits for this particular video. Alright, so... I really need to make it a habit to save before going back to the end of time so we don't have to run through the mandatory battles in the area. Go ahead and advance the plot some more, so that way we can get to the next ending. So as we all know, our next stop is the Tyranno Lair. because this is before the Reptites learn to resist lightning.
and those guys can run there. We don't care about them. Yay! Somebody leveled up finally after how long? Oh. Which doesn't work. You have to have Isla break through the uh, door. Ha ha ha! Isla, rational. That's funny. There to rot. Oh, whatever. Alright, so we are plot only, so we are just going to skip the fights. Aha! Sliding along the ground, not a care in the world. This time we actually have to fight something. Oh darn. Obviously, we are just going to one shot the volcano, so there's no point in getting them to turn on themselves. And apparently, they absorb lightning, which is annoying because we like to spam lightning. We like to spam lightning because it makes the things die. Even non-critical attacks still instantly kill the volcanoes. Let's go ahead and save here. I'm going to take a quick break, and when I get back in a few minutes, we will 
kill Nysbel, kill Oswa, and kill Black Toronto, and watch Lavos crash into the ground again. See you guys in a little bit.